Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> Whoa! 37.8! No way! My turn, my turn! Move it, Wash! So, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready! Huh? <laughs> Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? Are you kidding? It's awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new kibble extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, you'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Nick, what do you say we trade kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the Living Stones, nobody understands me. Luckily, you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected yeah. by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bestet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! 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 Guys, he's here! Sam! What in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. What does revere mean? That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. Sounds awesome. Is Egypt far? No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. Pretty classy, huh? But Sam! You're not even a real cat! <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not. He's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. <laughs> I give him ten seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. <laughs> Farewell! And kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. <laughs> Wash, are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Sam, stop! It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> And what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? Tag, Sam! Okay, but under one condition, we play Egyptian tag. Sam, if we play tag, we... Okay! All right, the rules are simple. I'm it, you see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Yeah! Hmm. 
Mmm, delicious. Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started. Come on, try a little harder. You promised to make Sam happy. No, how about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee. His ancestors, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty. The secret cat he was, he loved even the dogs in awe. Loved even the dogs in awe? Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> that was the goddess Samses, and this is her descendant, Samses the second. Glory be to Samses the second, goddess of the heavens. Wash, Samses the second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Yeah? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samzies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samzies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, oh great Samzies 2? <laughs> It's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this'll have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsies, too, is in no way related to a disgusting creature. <laughs> Dang, such a thing in front of your very own sister's terrible! <laughs> you alone with your too small statue, I told him. Seriously, who does he think he is? Don't worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. Do you know what mummies are, girls? <laughs> are you ready, girls? Yeah! yeah! Uh. snoring. Enough already. Oh. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? Samsies too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramids. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and, uh... Be right back! Ah! Honey? Did you hear all that ruckus? Honey! There's somebody in the living room! No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? <sighs> Have mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! I'm just a friend of the mill wire floor! Not a sacred cat! Look! Ah. Ah. Honey, there's a 
wild boar and three mummies in the living room. Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not. You just had a nightmare, that's all. You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. <laughs> Susie, you managed to get rid of the money? Sam, quick, put this on. <laughs> you see, honey, I was right. They were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys. You can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. Yay! <laughs> and I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But that's extra light kibble. I can't believe it. The Living Stones made a mistake. You really think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Exterminatrix? What a joke. We don't need pest control. We've got two cats. They'll keep us mouse free. Hey, where did Sam go? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm just hanging out with Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sam, you know very well that cats don't hang out with mice. It's against the law. Cats are meant to chase mice. Why? This kid is my buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm your buddy. Dogs are a cat's best friend, not mice, okay? That's not true. This kid gives me cheese. When's the last time you gave me any cheese? <laughs> But, Sam, look at him. He's taking you for a ride. It's obvious he's hatched some plan in the back of his mind. Hmm. I don't see anything hatching in the back of his mind. Listen, Biscuit isn't doing this out of friendship. He's doing this so that you leave him alone and he can have free run of the Livingstone's house. It's blatantly obvious. And what is blatantly obvious to me is that you have zero cheese to give me and that you're totally jealous that Biscuit and I are big buddies. <laughs> Think! Biscuit is in the kitchen. You gotta go chase! <sighs> in your dreams. Biscuit and I came to an agreement two years ago, so I don't have to go chasing anything. An agreement? What agreement? Ugh, see you later. <laughs> oh. Is your cat too old? Or perhaps too dumb? Does he fall asleep every time he sees a mouse? Then call the Exterminatrix! Your 24-7 emergency pest control solution! Huh? Uh, row, 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 row! What's got into you? That's enough, Washington! Row, 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 row! Whoa, 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 row, row! Honey, whoa, can't whoa, you see whoa, he wants to play? Whoa. All right, but then sleepy time, okay? Come on, whoa, whoa, fetch, whoa, little whoa, doggy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, whoa, whoa. go fetch, Washington. Maybe he wants more. What in the... What's got into you, Washington? Ah, the mouse! Sam, catch the mouse! 
If you so much as lift a finger, you can kiss goodbye to cheese forever. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh, this time we need a real specialist. <laughs> it was horrible. It was like the mouse had cast some weird spell on Sam. Hello, exterminatrix? Alfie Snout, a.k.a. the Exterminatrix, at your service. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Uh, I smell a rat. I'll be back later. Ciao! Don't worry, sir. I've got the solution. Wow, see that, girls? We're dealing with a true professional. What's going on? Oh, there's this weird guy who turned up. No idea what he's doing here. So <laughs> where's the crime scene? <laughs> there! <laughs> Mission accomplished! Oh. You? Ah. Wash, do something! We've got a free biscuit! Sam, there's nothing we can do. That's just the way the world works. The mouse turns up, the mouse gets caught. And nobody can do nothing about it. Do you need a handkerchief? Not at all. Before I became a mouse detector, I was what they once called a nose. I worked for the greatest perfumers, Bilberry, Kevin Clown, even Coco Caramel. Caramel number five was my own. Until one day when my assistant, jealous of my success, sneaked wild animal fur into my latest perfume, which gave the perfume a disgusting scent and ruined my reputation. How horrible. Horrible, yes. The stinking odor of wild animals has never left me. And I can tell you, you've got much more than mice here. What do you mean? You don't want to know. I've got it all figured out. How what? about you go for a nice walk around the block? I'll take care of this. Oh, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Our dear little pets have to... There are wild animals in here. I'd bet my nose on it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get rid of those stinky critters and two shakes of a skunk's tail. With my amazing sense of smell, I never miss my target. Let the hunt begin. All the exits are blocked. We're done for. You'll send this bag to the forest for sure. Never. Follow me. Smells great, huh? It's Biscuit's cheese stash. Vic, what are you doing here? I, I, I know it's wrong, but I so love cheese. It's too delicious. So I came to this agreement with Biscuit. He supplies the cheese, and in exchange, I leave him alone. What? You both made the same deal with Biscuit? Don't you see? That's why we're being hounded by that maniac, and now we're inches away from being sent back to the forest. If you hadn't woken up the living stones... What? You did that? Because of you, my buddy Biscuit got captured? Of course not, Sam. Biscuit isn't your buddy. I'm your buddy. <laughs> Somebody you are. You snake in the grass. Get me out of here. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. Sam, you're my best friend. I'd do anything for you. <laughs> if you want, I'll go free Biscuit myself. Go on. And if you do release him, maybe I will deign to look at you again. How are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. I shall hide inside a piece of cheese to conceal my wild animal odor. So? So the exterminatrix won't be able to smell me anymore. And all I'll have to do is sneak up to his backpack and release Biscuit. Wash, you're amazing. I'll come with you. <laughs> I don't believe it. I've lost their trail. Sam, now's the moment. Let's go. That's weird. It's like the wild animal stink has been replaced by something else. It's not polecat. It's not skunk. It's 
It's... it's worse! A totally new species! I'm about to discover a totally new species! It looks like Wash's plan hasn't turned out so good! What an incredible odour! It's disgusting! I've never smelled anything like it! Quick! We gotta help them! Uh-uh. Totally out of the question. It's a great plan! It's sure to work! Girls! You really think I'm gonna parade around dressed in a stinky cheese in front of that guy just to save Sam and Wash? What if I get caught? That's just it, it won't matter. There's no danger for you, you're just a standard issue pet cat. Standard issue, huh? I see, the answer is no. Oh. Um, I wonder what the cats in the hood would think if they found out that you stuff your face <laughs> with cheese in secret. Especially in exchange for a mouse's freedom. Uh, it's okay, I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to help you, on one condition. You never say a word to anybody. Promise! So, what's the cheese with the biggest stink? No, please, have mercy! Not the seven-year chabichu! A new odor, what is it? It's, it's incredible! Even worse than the last one! It smells like a species that doesn't even exist. I'm about to discover a species that doesn't even exist! That's enough! What's going on? Let us in! Sam, hit his legs and make him fall. When he's on the ground, we release Biscuit. Mission accomplished! Now everyone, head for shelter! Victory! I've got you now, you vile unidentified creature with your putrid odor! Thanks to you, I'll be famous again! I have just saved your home from a new species of wild animal, as yet unidentified, but especially ferocious. Hmm? What have you done to our cat? Why is she covered in cheese? Well, I, I, I don't get it. My sense of smell has never let me down before. I'm so sorry. I really am. Uh, but I did catch the mouse. At least that's something, yeah? <laughs> This is amazing! Make the most of it. Not every day will be like this. It's only because you saved my skin. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. rather be playing something else? Why? This is fun! Uh, sure, and it's Thursday, and on Thursdays... I get it. I'm too fat. Yeah? We're home! <gasps> the Living Stones! They probably brought back food! Mm -hmm. Look at what we brought back for you! One for Eugenie, one for Susie, one for Washington. And this is for Sam and Victoria. It's a cat tree, Sam. You'll love it. Give us five minutes and we'll put it together for you. Washington, no playing ball in the street, okay? Hey, what's the point of a carrot you can't eat? They're pet toys, guys. Apparently, pets love this stuff. Seriously, I saw it on TV. This, for example, is a ball launcher. Folks use them to zing a ball into the far distance. Look! <laughs> Well, they do recommend not to use it in town. It's meant for the beach or the countryside. That is awesome! Will you launch me, Wash? Say you'll launch me! Okay. 
I'll just go get the ball back first. I assure you, Mr. Police Officer, sir, a ball just fell out of the sky. Where could that ball have got to? Ta-ha! There it is! Wash? Sure, it's you, Wash. I'd recognize that snout of yours a mile away. You don't recognize me? It's Magnus! Hey, Magnus, of course! <laughs> it's been ages, buddy. Yeah, you're telling me. You're looking pretty sharp. What's with the fur look? It's not my real fur. It's a costume. Thanks to this, I managed to get myself adopted by humans. Now, I live in the lap of domestic luxury. I knew you'd pull it off one day. You always were the sharpest fox in the box. Don't exaggerate. Anyway, how you doing? Well, you know what the forest is like. Grief all day long. I came into town to see if I couldn't find myself something to eat. Uh, I'm starving. I'm hungry. Ah, shelter! Come on! Wow, your place sure looks cozy. Can I come in? I'm hungry. Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you, Magnus. I can't leave you like this. Where's the kitchen? Over there. You took your time. Did you find your ball? Huh? Is Wash acting weird to you? <laughs> uh, how does Wash do that? Wearing his costume but not wearing his costume both at the same time? I've never managed that. Magnus? Are you crazy? is a wild guy, 100%. The living stones will notice and then imagine what will happen if you get spotted without your costume. Hey, easy, everything's fine. Magnus is just having a bite to eat. It'll only take five minutes. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Remember back in the forest? Forest? <laughs> Stop! It sure was rough. You're right. We gotta help Magnus. So, can you show him the house? I'll wait for you here. Ah, I'm gonna take a bit of time out of my costume. I can smell a wild animal here. Mm, kibble? Now, is that what you call them? They're awesome! Hey, stop, are you crazy? That's my bull! Domestic life has rules and regulations. Everyone has their own bowl, and nobody touches anybody else's. If you want more kibble, you go find the masters and give your best cute show. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Hilarious. Do it again. Meow, meow. Yay, my kibble. Lock nut 17 on shaft 19. What's a lock nut? <sighs> it's uh, cool here. Whoa, what's that? <sighs> That's uh, Vic, Victoria, the house cat. No, the thing she's sleeping on. There, it looks real comfortable. Yeah, but no. Don't touch, it's her cushion. Okay, okay, quit the rules and regulation stuff. A fat lot of good they are. Ain't that right, fatty? Hey! Hey, no, Wash, you're gonna run! <laughs> Who's he? Your buddy? Let's say he's Wash's buddy. <laughs> hey, Wash, you there? Over here! I had a run-in with Alvarez, but it's okay now. How's tricks with you? Tricks aren't good. Your buddy Magnus took my cushion, and if you don't get rid of him immediately, I'll take Sam's kibble hostage. What? That's not fair. Magnus has already eaten my share. There's no way I'm sacrificing myself. Hmm? Whoa, your human guys are trying to make some weird contraption, and the noise is atrocious. I'm a light sleeper, me. I don't get a moment's peace. Ciao, Wash. See you around. That's what friendship is all about, making sacrifices. You're right. We did good helping Magnus. 
Are you joking? He stole my kibble. If you were in the same situation, wouldn't you have liked Magnus to give you his kibble? Yeah, but I mean to say, you don't steal my kibble. Hey, Magnus, you okay? Tell me, uh, I got a little favor to ask. My sister is starving. You couldn't lend her your costume, could you? I mean, well, let's say that, uh... Uh, yeah. And there's my cousin and brother-in-law, too. Okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Wash has lost weight. <laughs> Looks like Wash has gained weight again. No. <laughs> Is it me, or is Wash's weight yo-yoing madly? I get the impression our lovable little fur balls are up to something. That is not how we eat. First you have to ask the masters. Oh, uh, this is not good, Schnookums. We are not happy. Honey, I think Wash is behaving really weird. If it continues, we'll have to take him to the vet. <laughs> You haven't seen a wild animal around here? I'm sure I picked up the scent of a wild animal. Wash, you gotta get your costume back. Your buddies are messing up. The Livingstone said they'd call the vet. If he turns up, he'll see there's a fox in your costume. And if the Livingstones don't call the vet, then I will. Okay, okay, I'll get it back. Relax, it was a joke. All the same, if I don't get my cushion back in the next five minutes, there's going to be trouble. Hey there! No overtaking! There's a line here for that costume! Get Get it, you're you're right. Right. Hey, look! If it isn't, watch! Yeah, you're right! How's it going? What are you doing here? Shh, quiet! Anyone know where Magnus is? Magnus, I, I, I gotta talk to you. Now, don't go thinking I'm complaining, but I kinda need my costume. No worries, Wash, but you'll have to queue up like everybody else. That's right. We're waiting, too. Uh... You know, Magnus, so far you've only seen the upside of domestic life. It's not always a bed of roses. There's loads of horrible stuff you gotta do to deserve those rewards. We have to hug our masters. Say what? Hug our masters. It's this thing that <laughs> you'll believe it when you see it. What's he up to? He sure is taking his time getting his costume back. <laughs> <sighs> so, do you have it? Nearly. I've got a plan. <clears throat> but I'm gonna need you. We're about to embark on Operation Snuggle. <laughs> <laughs> I think our little honey buns want to say sorry for their monkey business earlier. <laughs> Look! Wash was right! <laughs> Operation Snuggle is working like a dream! Shall we move things up a gear? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, little Sam. We'll buy you another one, Schnookums. <laughs> He's not going too far. How about you, Wash? Want to join in? Come on, give us a hug. <laughs> Wash? That hugging stuff is horrendous. How do you put up with it? What, do you have absolutely no self-respect? I'd rather go back to the forest and put up with the grief. Washington, come give me a hug right this minute. Yeah, that's <laughs> the Washington Good we know dog. and love. Hey, you, it smells like fox. <laughs> 19, 19. Sam, not gonna happen. What do you mean? I'm too fat, is that it? Okay, go on, <laughs> climb aboard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. 
Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This is a device specially designed to gaze at the stars. There are stars on the box. Loads of them. Look. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Shoot, an acorn with zero flavor. <laughs> you can't eat it, Jelly Brain. It's something humans use for parties. <laughs> Oh, cool it, girls. The party isn't here. It's at Mr. Livingstone's mom's house. It's for her birthday. Our masters forgot to take the box when they left. What? It's his mom's birthday? Gosh, <laughs> you're not going to the forest, are you? You're crazy! Today is also my mom's birthday! I completely forgot! Don't you realize? No! Yeah. Not those two imbeciles again! I absolutely have to go see her! Huh? She'll be so disappointed! I only want to give her a big hug! Simple, yeah? Who's he talking about? Washington, I am sorry! I refuse to let you go alone! I'm your best! You want to come with me? You know, my mom makes the best acorn pie in the forest. Really? Uh, okay, I'll come with you. Just a quick trip. Hmm. We'd be better off going home and sleeping. No way! I have a hunch Wash has a date with a girl, and I want to be sure. Wash, someone's following us. Nah, uh what are you talking about? My snout is tingling, and when my snout tingles... Your snout tingles all the time. Whenever you're hungry, whenever you're thirsty, whenever it's bedtime, whenever Dude, you're... Behind the bush! It's Mitch, I know it is. Mitch is a bear, Sam. <laughs> He's far too big to hide behind a bush. It's obvious there's... <laughs> What are you doing here? We could ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Yeah, uh, 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 we came looking for uh, catnip for Victoria. Did we? Pretend to look for catnip. They mustn't find out why we're here. Otherwise, we're done for. A hunting dog that hunts catnip? Now I've seen it all. You were right. Those jokers are hiding something. It's lucky we met you. We can help you, sir. <laughs> the quicker we find catnip, the quicker we get home. Yeah, uh, 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 thank you, girls. <laughs> really cool of you. Can you just turn around for a minute? <laughs> uh, call of nature. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, quick. My parents' lair is this way. Those two clinging gate crashers obviously must not catch up with us. <laughs> Do we know each other? Hmm? Recognize that muzzle anywhere. I've already seen you hanging around here. What are you doing here? You know him? Who? Him? Uh, never seen him before. We were just looking for somewhere to go wee wee. We don't know anyone around here. Is that you, Wash? <laughs> <laughs> but of course, I recognize that muzzle a mile away. Back to the forest to be with us. <laughs> You? You must have confused us with someone else. <laughs> Sorry. How uncanny. He just called you Wash. Yeah, and uh, so, uh, what does that prove? Wash is a very common name. I see. You're just giving us the brush off, are you? Just because you're with your little town girlfriends? Do your parents know you're behaving like a town boy? 
If you've never been to the forest before, isn't it weird how all the animals seem to know perfectly well who you are? No, they're just joking. It's the forest air. Everybody knows. <laughs> it makes people want to fool around. Too right, like me when I was in the forest. <laughs> I get it. Well, I got a special little joke for you. Forest style. You're gonna love it. See you later! What did you really come here to do, Sam? Yeah, well... Yeah. Wait, action! <laughs> wild animals! There are wild animals around here. So what? It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, but these guys are different. They're like really wild, ferocious. Mm -hmm. I can smell them. My nose never lets me down. Great, we gotta hide. What about the wild animals? We are the wild animals. Come on, we're gonna give Nugget and Fluffy the heebie-jeebies so that they clear out of here and we can go say happy birthday to my mom in peace. Fluffy, mm. don't just stand there. Ah! <laughs> Where are your manners, young man? Is that how you welcome town folk round these parts? <laughs> I'll teach you manners. Little washeroo. Aw, washeroo, as in Washington. A little bird told me you and Sam had been playing the wise guys now that you live in town. And that big fat wild boar is called Sam. Mm -hmm. Just like Sam Livingstone. No, Dad, his name's Max, not Sam. Max or Sam, they're both moronic names. Why are these domestic pets here? Oh, honey, it's plain to see. It's their girlfriends. Welcome to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a go. It's one of your dad's specialities. Mm. Dude, that is awesome. What is it? Pigtail potatoes with real pigtails. Pretty good, huh? Oh, little washeroo. Still happy with life in town? Well. There's nothing like the forest, son. You'd never catch me playing flunky to a human. There's honor at stake, and there's no way I'd wear one of your fancy disguises. Marvelous news, but let's not forget it's mom's birthday. Come on, how about we go fetch the cake? I bet my nine lives that those two jokers, the fox and the boar, are none other than Wash and Sam Livingstone. What are you saying? Washington is so much more suave and sophisticated than a vulgar fox. And Sam might look dumb, but he's still a cat, not a wild boar. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna bet? Hey! What's happened to Mom's acorn pie? You disappoint me, son. Have you forgotten? For birthday, we always serve my famous dung beetle mousse with dandelion clocks. Happy birthday, Mom. What happened to those two la -dee da house cats? Yeah, no, what town folk are like, honey. Always in a hurry. I blame their parents. Never leave before the birthday moose. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same. Uh, of course not, Dad. Glad to hear it. What happened to Nugget and Fluffy? This is the spot we last saw them. If my hunch is right, their disguises must be hidden nearby. <laughs> but it is an acorn pie. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mom. Gotta go. We'd love to stay longer, but... <laughs> you came to my birthday. You've already given me the best gift possible. My little washeroo. You see? Poof, you got it wrong. Wash had a date with the girl. That costume story is ridiculous. Wait just a minute. <laughs> Too late, Wash. We're done for. Uh, that is the place we left our costumes, right? Not such a wise guy now, huh? <laughs> you went to the Livingstone's house? Uh-huh, and we had a ball. What a fiesta! <laughs> Not to mention the kibble. We're keeping these costumes. They're awesome. 
and to think we didn't even get any acorn pie. We're the town folk, us. But next time, don't pretend you don't know us. Got it? Uh-huh. We promise. And if you ever want to come see us at the Living Stones, you're always welcome. Where were you? We looked everywhere for you. Oh, wow. What a stink. What's the new perfume? Oh, what? What perfume? I can't smell anything. You want some catnip? I found tons with my famous feline sense of smell. Ta-da! But it isn't even catnip. Come on. Anyone can make a mistake. At least it proves Wash wasn't on a date with a girl. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Everything go okay? It was horrific. The girls were out of control. Not to mention your two Joker buddies who turned up in your costumes. That was the limit. The forest is way too stressful. I'm never setting a paw back in there again. Not even for a slice of acorn pie. Don't worry. No need to go back for another year. In one week, it's Mother's Day. Are you stuck for good <laughs> ideas? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. back and next time vengeance will be ours, amigo. First to the sofa gets to choose a TV program. Come on, maybe you could try it from the opposite direction tomorrow. Back already, huh? Sounds like it's coming from behind the house. Whoa, what is he doing? Do you see that, Sam? What do you think it is? A surprise. It's a guy who decorates things in secret, so when the owners come back and see them, they have a big surprise. Awesome. You think he wants to surprise the Living Stones, too? No idea, but sure is pretty. Hey, you! Oh, no. Why'd he leave so soon? He didn't even finish his surprise. <laughs> I've always dreamed of being a delinquent. How about we all prepare the Living Stones a surprise? Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll see! It'll be amazing! <laughs> My eyes! I can't see anything! <laughs> yeah? Uh-oh! If your plan was to surprise the Living Stones, you sure did a great job! Uh, oh, no, no, no! Not our costumes! No! So that wasn't the plan then? Wow! I dig the new costumes! Groovy! I want one too! And me! No, they're not groovy at all. Quick, we have to wash our costumes straight away. <laughs> Lucky the Living Stones have gone out for the day. Yoo We're back already. Oh, those spots. What are they? Honey, come quickly. I think Wash and Sam have gotten some weird disease. Ah, oh, you're hideous. Quick, let's get the Yoo defense. <laughs> ah. <laughs> How troublesome. How very troublesome. What? What is it? What's up with them? I have no idea. But, uh, what I mean to say is that I need a little time to, uh, uh, to compare the photo with my database and carry out further analytics. In the meantime, huh? I advise you head home. We have to find some way to wash these spots off. Otherwise, that vet will finally find out we're wearing costumes. <laughs> Don't worry. My secretary will keep you posted about just how, uh, your pet's disease is coming along. Ugh. We've got to get them out of there and fast! Come on, let's try the window! I don't want to go back to the forest! In the rain? In the cold? No kibble? No TV? No roast chicken! Oh, Sam! Give me a hand here! Mm -hmm. 
not even a small bar of soap. Okay, plan B. We gotta get out of here. Let it be. Ah! You can go on lunch break later. It's still only 10 o'clock in the morning. And I do believe you have sick animals to attend to. Okay. So, where do we think these little red spots have come from? Phew. I'm gonna lock this door, Vladimir. I know what you like. Call me when you found the problem. Call me when you found the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that, Bush? The door is locked. Don't panic. We'll find some way of getting out of here. No! I don't know yet. We need a sick... There you go! What was I telling you, huh? Yeah, we're here! Uh, oh dear, that looks serious. I'd better move on to business stuff, or Welma won't let me have any pudding again. We need something to remove the paint! Remove the paint! <laughs> she understood. Now we just have to wait for them to get back. <laughs> well, now you're going to be proud of me. <laughs> they have acute inflamed boobinitis, a highly rare disease that died out several centuries ago. Incredible, huh? Vladimir, I knew we'd turn you into something someday. The illness is caused by a dangerous virus that is extremely contagious. Virus? Extremely contagious? <laughs> Put on a pair Love. Everything's gonna be fine. There we go. Quarantine. Well done, Vladimir. Don't move. I'll go see who it is. What? How on earth there did you... There we go! Mission accomplished! Your day is coming last, Vladimir! Acute inflamed boobinitis is back and you've got a cage full of specimens! Fame and glory will be yours! All yours! Gl glory Oh, Velma! Come on! We're organizing a press conference within the hour and we're gonna show the world in its greatest what this extremely dangerous virus is about. An extremely dangerous virus? I'm too young for this. I still have so much to live for. So many acorns to eat in. Okay, let's calm down, all right? Sam, let me remind you, the spots are red paint, and it's only paint, okay? Right now, we've got to get out of here and fast. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible to open from the inside. Your cage isn't locked like mine. All you have to do is push it. Uh, uh. Well done, Wash. You're amazing. Don't thank me. Thank our new buddy. Thanks, buddy. So why is your cage locked? Sometimes I get these mood swings, so that, that put me in a special cage. But if you lend me a hand, the opening is below the door. Hmm? I always knew that us cats could count on each other. Us cats? Hmm? <laughs> but you're not a cat, you're a tiny dog. I'm not actually a dog, I'm a cat. A cat. Meow, meow. And I hate dogs. Uh, everything okay there, buddy? I got this right. He's a dog who's a cat who doesn't like dogs, right? I'm sure there's some hidden message in all this. Enough! That dog's gone crazy! I'm not a dog and I'm not crazy! Yeah! Ah! What's going on, Velma? I've got to choose which bow tie I'm going to wear for our video conference. <laughs> ah! They're going to contaminate us! Vladimir! Judy is calling, Vladimir. Your press conference.
conference with the world's greatest specialists is about to start any minute now. Mm -hmm. This is your chance, Vladimir. Be a man and show some guts. You're right. I need a net, gloves, a protective mask. Easy now, easy. You know, Washington isn't really a dog. He's actually a... Sam, don't give away our secret. A cat. Hey, I'm actually a cat, too. Meow. Meow. Yeah, so are we. Meow. You all gone completely crazy? Huh? Is he being serious? My word! It looks like acute inflamed boobinitis has even more serious side effects than I'd first imagined. Pull yourself together, Vladimir! You're pathetic! Easy now, we're real cats. Huh? Yeah, we love clawing the sofa, purring all day, and eating salmon kibble. Isn't that right, buddies? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Looks like we got ourselves another crazy mud in our tails. A uh, dog? I hate dogs! Video conference activated. Hello? 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 Mushy, mushy. <laughs> What just happened to us, guys? That story was complete nonsense. You're right. It was really weird. Not only are our careers as delinquents over, but our costumes are still covered in red spots. Don't forget that in three, two, one, it's time for the automatic sprinkler! <laughs> Hmm, that for sure is quite unique. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. There we go. Flea treatment complete. You've all been very good. Well done. But where on earth is Victoria? That's weird. She was here two minutes ago. Seeing how she hates that flea product, she must be long gone. It's like she has some sixth sense that tells her when to leave at treatment time. We're gonna have to find her. This year, the fleas are back with a vengeance. Hmm. Hey, Vic, there you are. Yeah, we've been looking everywhere for you. Stop it. Shut up, Sam! Keep your snout out of it! Oh. Darling, look! Fix up there! Get down from there right this minute! Party, party, party! Yeah! Interesting. What's up with this? Can't you see? She's dancing! Cool dance routine! Ow. I reckon she's being bitten alive by fleas. There you go, Vic. You should have played the game and taken your treatment just like everybody else. You're a fine one to speak out! Your costumes protect you from the side effects of that ghastly stuff! Ouch! And they protect you from fleas! Stop! Well, well, there you are, Vic. Hmm? This time you're going nowhere. 
I know it smells bad and it makes your head hurt, but at least the fleas are going to leave you alone. Get the shelter! Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. Who's up for a game of forest ball? Yeah! yeah! Count me out this time. Go long, Sam! <laughs> are enjoying themselves as much on the other double fur animals. We have a problem. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not scratch in front of them. Otherwise, zip, we'll be up in front of the vet in no time. What if the vet examines us and discovers we're wild animals? I don't want to go back to the forest. There we go. We're off for a weekend in the wild. Be good, little angels. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, what did I do with my sunglasses? Oh, here they are. All right, honey, I got the roadmap. And the torches. Stop, stop, silly of me. Huh? Uh, what's happened to them? Do you reckon they have fleas? Hmm, but the treatment works perfectly. Victoria's fine. I'll call up the vet anyway. I'll make an appointment for tomorrow morning when we get back. What a nightmare! <laughs> we cannot let that vet examine us. We have to come up with some solution to get rid of these fleas. No, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that feels so good. Good idea, Sam. Everywhere. That's what we're gonna find out. <laughs> what an awesome party! Yeah, whoever organized this is a genius. Yeah. Does it work? Right. We're gonna have to find some other idea. <laughs> Well, well, what a cute little dance routine you got there. This is not the time, Vic. If we don't ditch these fleas before the living stones get back, we're done for. Yeah, but Vic, what can we do to get rid of them? <laughs> to do that, you'll have to find them a better place to live. Like a mansion with a mud jacuzzi? No, another animal. But don't worry, there must be hundreds of untreated pets around here. Hey. Vic, you're a genius! <sighs> but why do I have to do this first? That's the way it is. We drew lots. Trust me on this. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> hmm? What's up, Sam? Lost your way to your comfy Sophie? Hey, thing. Hey, I was looking for you with my buddies. We just wanted to say that... That what? That you're an awesome neighbor. We all wanted to give you a big hug to say thanks. Uh? <laughs> oh, what's that smell? Wait, I'll go see. I don't know what it is. 
this. It looks like a trash can with fur. Nothing compared to our double fur penthouse suite here. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I mean, what have those guys been putting in your food lately? To think I'm the one everyone calls wild around here. They're really clinging on. I don't think we have many options left. Who needs the vet? We get our hands on the flea treatment and blam! A quick dose on our real fur and problem solved. You ready? Careful, Sam. I don't believe it. What kind of vet is this guy? There's everything but meds here. Weight, 59 pounds or 13 ounces. Oh, no, Sam! 59 pounds and 13 ounces? That's impossible, Wash. The guy inside that thing is lying. <laughs> the animals! Calm down. Did you hear that? Sounds like there are thousands of animals out there. All with nice warm fur. We're right. And it sure smells good. Maybe it's time to throw the party of the century. Yay! Moving out. Thanks. You can sleep easy now. Come on, let's go look for our treatment. Yeah. You heard it, right? <laughs> It's the vet! Quick! Let's get out of here! What about the flea treatment? I'd much rather live in a cold forest with fleas than get caught hanging around here. Let's go! Oh, what are the... Do something! Look at them, Vladimir! I shall never forget you, you little marvel of technology, you. What are you doing? Farewell, Sofa! Farewell, TV! Farewell, lovely home! Thank you for all the good times we had! We're home! We came as quickly as we could. Oh, poor little honeys. Looks like they're at their wits' end. The vet will be here any minute. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, good day. So, where are the patients? I can't take it anymore. It has to stop. This torture has to end. What torture? You stopped scratching. Yeah, you're right. But that means the fleas must have gone. At last, someone with a brain cell. But how come I didn't notice? I have good news and bad news. The bad news is my clinic suffered a flea invasion last night and I don't have the usual product in stock. Yeah. But the good news is we get to try out a totally new treatment that's even more powerful. Yeah. Uh, right. The only complicated thing about this product is that it has to be swallowed. Awesome! It's breakfast time! I say, your animals sure are cooperative. Hang on, where's the other cat? <laughs> Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. It's a good thing we got away with it this time. I hate swallowing tablets! Hey, I wonder what did happen to our fleas? Hey, it's you, Hadley. How's it going, buddy? Cool place here, huh? Huh? 